Hello students, this is Miss Sucroto, and I'm really excited to be your biology and human anatomy physiology teacher this year. More than just teaching you about those subjects, I hope to help you grow as a learner. School is all about helping you become a higher order thinker so that you're better able to solve problems in life. The purpose of this video is to let you know what class is going to be like this year. We're going to incorporate a way of learning that's probably not new to you, but as far as classroom learning is concerned, it is different. It's a new tool for doing school. We'll start off each unit by asking questions and exploring topics with activities in class. This may be labs or games or just discussion. You'll listen to lectures and take notes for homework and you complete practice assignments or activities in class. It's called the flipped classroom and takes advantage of technology to help you learn. First of all, I didn't invent it. This method of teaching and learning has been around for a few years now. And, like any teaching method, it still requires me to pay close attention to your progress and to help you along. My goal as a teacher is to be prepared and to get you to learn science in any way possible. I can't, however, motivate you. That's your job. What I can do is to give you options that make learning easier and maybe even fun and interesting. First, what is the traditional model of delivering content knowledge? Well, it's not foreign to you. As all of you have experienced, the teacher is at the front of the classroom giving a lecture and may be engaging students with questions. This is the so-called Socratic method. Or, you may just sit passively and take notes and do your best to stay attentive. There's usually some time to practice what you've learned, but most often, practice is for homework. Classrooms are designed to accommodate this type of teaching and it has some success. Traditionally, you get home and attempt to do the homework by yourself without the support of the teacher. This may normally work for you, but if you get stuck, you may get frustrated and abandon your work. You may even be attempted to copy the work from another student. Either way, you're not learning. Students learn in different ways and at different speeds. You probably have had teachers that seem to get you. That is, because they teach to your learning style. It's difficult as a teacher to accommodate each student's style every day. So how does the flipped classroom method work? Well, it takes advantage of technology and the tremendous amount of information on the internet. As a new millennium learner, you've got to learn to use the internet for more than just entertainment. That's exactly what the flipped classroom attempts to do. Instead of listening to lectures and taking notes in the classroom, you're now going to be watching a video lesson called a screencast on a computer at home for homework. I've made many of my own screencasts and collected the best online lessons I could find. I've also built a website that is your go-to site for much of the lessons you'll need to be successful in this class. There you'll find your class topics organized under the subject headings. You'll be expected to take notes, write down questions you may have, or complete short online quizzes to see if you understood the material. What's not gone are reading assignments. I'll need to be sure that you keep your strong reading skills. Either way, you'll come into the classroom with some knowledge of the material already. In the classroom, you'll be ready to work with classmates on activities or problems that will help strengthen your understanding. I'll be more available to help give you more one-on-one -on -one attention and to guide you through the lessons. In other words, you'll be doing the traditional homework in class but with the collaboration and support of your peers and me. What will you need as a minimum? Well, a computer with a USB port. That's a plug-in port that allows you to put in a flash drive. However, if you have internet access, you won't need the USB. You'll simply access the lesson from the class website. You may also want some headphones to be sure you can hear me and as to not distract other people in your household. If for any reason you don't have a computer at home, please let me know. The school can't provide you with one, but there may be some inexpensive options for you. Once you have the hardware, you're ready to keep up because watching the screencast lesson will let you move at your own pace. You'll be able to pause, rewind, skip over, or watch the entire screencast over and over again as a review. If you get distracted or, heaven forbid, bored during a video, you can simply pause it for a break. These screencasts are always online, so you can watch them whenever you want and as often as you need. Some students watch the lessons from their smartphones as they travel back from an away game on the bus or waiting backstage at a rehearsal. 
And if you're sick and home from school, you can still get the lesson. You'll need to set aside adequate time for watching the video. You'll be expected to take notes, ponder questions, summarize, take a short quiz, and or write down some questions you have. You can expect to take at least 30 minutes to watch and take notes on a 10 minute video. Some of you may take more or less time. As always, you'll need to eliminate distractions like your cell phone or the urge to wander off to other websites. Self-discipline is still key. My mantra about your work is that you're not simply doing it just to get it done. You won't get much benefit or credit for doing that. You should be doing it to learn from it. So what will class time be like? We'll discuss the important parts of the screencast that you watch to be sure you didn't miss anything. This is the time to get answers to the questions you have or to share what you've learned with your classmates. We'll then have much more time to complete the normal practice problems that you would have normally done at home. What you'll also find with this flipped model is that it provides a supportive environment with your peers and the teacher is more available for your help. We'll have more times for labs and higher level thinking activities that are designed to strengthen your understanding. We'll have discussions where you practice your biology or A&P vocabulary. I'll have more time to move around the room assisting those who need me most. FaceTime with me is being used more effectively. All of this means nothing, however, if you don't invest yourself. You must still take charge of your learning, become a self-directed student, manage your time, and be a creative, resourceful learner, among other things. The flipped classroom does none of this for you, but hopefully it'll make it easier for you. This screencast is merely your introduction to the flipped classroom model. Back in class, we'll discuss more of your expectations. So bring your enthusiasm and we'll see you then.